Hi Aries, it's Power Online Tarot coming at you with a reading. And Aries, this is going to be behind the scenes on your person, all right? Whoever they are, whoever that lucky person may be. Or if you're dealing with a few people, whoever they are, right? <laughs> Let's see what we have for Aries from the Enchanted Aries person from the Enchanted Map Oracle. Don't forget your uh, Moon and Rising videos to speaking to Aries person. Uh, to get more clarity in case this does not resonate. And Aries, uh, although this is for your person, you could be in the reading, okay? Sacred Pool. Rescue. Wow, dude. Deep Freeze. Okay, so I feel like your person, they could feel like they need to be rescued in a situation. Deep Freeze means that something has been frozen for a long time. Like something could be cold as ice. Maybe there's no activity, no maybe no kind of engagement, fulfillment, something. Something is frozen here. It's not a good card to get for your person. And Sacred Pool. Let's have a look at Sacred Pool. I feel like it is about kind of like making uh, maybe affirmations or something like that. Let's see. Let's have a look at, that, look at it. I don't know all of them. The world is a reflection of your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs. Embody the love you want to see in the world. Okay, well, that'd be great if everybody would do that, right? <laughs> but let's see here. The sacred pool is telling them to kind of keep it, uh, keep it positive. Basically, it's saying keep things positive. Don't get too down. That's how I'm reading that. Uh, whatever you believe will kind of like you can manifest that. Mm -hmm. The world is a reflection of your thoughts, feelings, and belief. Keep keep it positive. Your person wants to get rescued. Okay, Aries, maybe you can. Uh, you know, rescue them, like in the other cartoons, like when we were little, how the hero kind of steps in mm -hmm, to save the world. I feel like we need that right now, right? Yeah, and all this crazy mad scientist stuff is uh, it's coming true, guys, if you guys are kind of paying attention. Yeah, so let's, let's find out about your person. Bottom of the deck is the Nine of Cups, Three of Cups, the Hangman in the Reverse, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords. So looking at this, you could be maybe dealing with a Piscean. She's in the reverse. I feel like there's a third party Aries that either your person really wants to be with or you want to be with. But since if this could be if this is a Pisces and they are indeed, if this is indeed a Pisces because the hangman is in the reverse and they are clearly at a disadvantage, it, be, it could be because you have uh, a third party that you really want to be with, right? That you want to reunite with. That is your wish come true here. Mm -hmm. And you could be in a union with them, and they could be feeling that you want to heal it with this other person. Wow. Right? Because the deep freeze card is showing up, and that means that right now things are pretty frozen, at least for your person. They're feeling like maybe you are, maybe things are like on ice. Things are so cold between you guys. And yeah, it is like that, because they want to be rescued. Mm -hmm. They want to be, so yeah, let's see what we have. And in their uh, overall energy is the Hermit. Maybe they're a Virgo. Crossing them is the High Priestess. I feel like your person here is a water sign. Mm -hmm. Pisces, possibly. In the root for them is the Two of Cups. In the past is the Page of Cups. On, on their mind is kind of manipulation, mind games, uh, sabotage. They could be on the receiving end of this or kind of doling it out. I feel like they are on the receiving end with rescue and deep freeze. And over here, and this could be third party, the five of swords. Okay, guys, you see there's two other people here. And this guy is winning. He's winning the battle, but he may not be winning the war. Yeah. And in the near future for them is the Knight of Cups. Maybe they are the Knight of Cups. Okay. What they fear is a judgment. They're fearing some type of a decision or a rebirth with somebody. Yeah, they are. So let's see why they have the Hermit. This is Aries person. Six of Pentacles. Two of Wands. Your person trying to figure out if you're giving to somebody else. That's it. If you're giving to, to you know them and somebody else. And if you're moving forward with somebody else. The Two of Wands. Maybe possibly if you're choosing somebody else. And the High Priestess is crossing them. This is the influence, right? For them. Why is that High Priestess there? This could be their challenge, their crossing energy, their influence. However, because they are all kind of related. Yes, they are. 
Let's see, Page of Swords. I mean, King, King of Swords, there we go. And the Queen of Cups. So this is most likely a Pisces you're dealing with because the High Priestess is here. And this is either Pisces or Scorpio, especially when we see the Hangman here. So I feel like you, you could be dealing with a Piscean. This could be a reading for a Piscean. Mm -hmm. I feel like they're soul searching about whether or not you're making a decision, Aries. Because in the fear position is judgment for them. Why it's all happening for them is the Two of Cups. Why is that there? Six of Wands. And the Nine. Sorry about my squeaky chair. I'm moving in uh, like 13 days. And it's going to be hallelujah. Okay, guys? <laughs> no noise and uh, not a squeaky chair, right? So let's see what we have. <clears throat> For your person in the root here, yeah, they think they're going to be single here. They think they're going to be like all alone. Yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. Wow. Because they feel like you, you're going to like reunite with somebody. Hmm? Or you are... I feel like that's it, yeah. And the Page of Cups is in the past. Why is that in the past? Page of Wands, wow. Ten of Wands. I feel like in the past somebody walked away. You could have walked away from them. Maybe they walked away from you because they wanted to drop a burden. It has to do with you probably making a love offer to somebody else. Page of Cups. Maybe they were. I'm not really seeing that for your person. When you see the card rescue, um, you don't think they're in a third party uh, unless they're at the kind of lousy end of it. Uh-huh. <laughs> and crowning their thoughts is the five of swords. Why is that on their mind, please? Tower. Yeah, they think there's an ending here and that you're leaving them. Four of cups. So like you're just kind of like Sending them away, like, you know, pouring out their cup, kind of like just like pushing them away. This is how I see this card, pushing them away, right? Pouring the cup out is really like pushing them away. I feel like they, you know, their worry here uh, on their mind is an ending because of a third party, and they feel like you are like pushing them away from them, yeah, because of that third party. In the near future, they have the King of Cups. Nine of Swords and the Eight of Wands in the reverse. So this is them. Uh, they could be a Knight of Cups. This can be an offer of love. It could be a water sign. It's that simple. But I feel like with this Nine of Swords, your person is living in a world in the near future of anxiety and fear. And major worry. Yeah, this could be their, their worst nightmare, their worst fears. Mm -hmm. When the dragon shows up. Yes, this is not any, you know... I don't know if there's any nice dragons, right? But uh, this is definitely not a nice one. And over here, you could be dealing with somebody who is kind of, it's possible, Aries, that you could be dealing with somebody who is maybe the sensitive type. This man looks like he's the sensitive type, right? Uh, yeah, like kind of wimpy a little bit. I'm not saying that your person's wimpy, but they could be on the sensitive side. They could be, right? Because they're trying to fight their fears. Maybe they're sensitive because of what they have gone through here, right? Because your person has gone through a lot. Yeah, this is true and real. Yes, it is. We're not basing it on uh, uh, mainstream media who don't tell the truth. <laughs> and the uh, this Eight of Wands is in the reverse. I feel like your person has fears here that you're going to make an offer of love to somebody else mm -hmm, that is like totally blocking them. Uh, and they feel like this is what they feel like. They feel like it's, it's going to come true. Like this is just inevitable. It's going to be in the upright and that you're going to be creating change and offering love to somebody else. And they're trying to fight their fears about it. That's what that is. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, this is their near future. They have fears about this third party. And about you working it out with this person. They feel like you're going to leave. They don't feel like you're leaving for any fly-by-night situation. They feel like you could be leaving for like somebody that you really want to be with. Two of Cups. This person could be really in love with you too. I feel like whoever this person is, potentially a Piscean, who are sensitive people. Yeah, they are, right? We need those people in the world. Yes, we do. And, yeah, we, we, we need people who feel and kind of base things on human, human condition rather than money and profit, right? Yeah. 
And I feel like Judgment and the Moon card right here, this is their fears. They fear, this is, I feel like this is them. I feel like this is them, Pis Pisces. But they have fear uh, definitely about you making a decision, like giving somebody a second chance, I feel. Why is that moon there? King of Cups. Yeah, this is your person, most likely. The devil, they're feeling... They could be... So you could be dealing also, like, with... Possibly with a Capricorn. Because this is their fear. That you're going to give maybe a Capricorn a second chance. They could simply be stuck, but they are fearing an ending, the death card. Okay? Yeah, they are. And in their environment is... The Four of Wands, this is usually a marriage or a union. Why is that Four of Wands there? Seven of Cups in the reverse, the Empress. This is in their environment. So they're no longer confused that you want to be in a relationship with, uh, with probably either a Virgo or a Capricorn. Wow. And that you are walking away. This is what they think. But they, it's possible they, you know, this is the saying, they're no longer confused about it. Mm-hmm. Wow. Why do they have these seven of pentacles? Six of cups. This is this somebody from your past they think you're going to walk away for? Or you have already walked away? I feel like you haven't walked away yet. They're fearing an ending here. The emperor is what they want. Why do they want the emperor? They shoot. They want the emperor of... Uh, not sure. Whatever country these to have to come and rescue them. That's what they want. This is what this is. They want you, Aries, the Emperor. Okay, this is you. <laughs> the Knight of Wands, the Page of Pentacles. They want a new start with you. King of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. Wow. Mm -hmm. I feel like they want a new start with you. Why is that Queen of Pentacles there? Why is the Queen of Pentacles there? This could talk about, this, your person could possibly be this Capricorn who, you know, this third party person could now be your person. But I feel like what this is, is that you're still, still dealing with a water sign here who is fearing that you're going to go be with a Capricorn. Yes, Ace of Cups with the Queen of Pentacles and the Page of Swords in the reverse. This is what they want. I feel like they want you to get over this. I feel like they want to get over it. Yes, Page of Swords in the reverse can be wanting to get over past hurts. I feel like that's what they want. And they could be, sometimes the Page of Swords in the reverse is doing things underhanded behind the scenes. Wow, why is that Page of Swords there in the reverse? Why is that there? Queen of Wands in the reverse. Wow. They could be wanting to do something to you. <laughs> they could over this love because they feel like your person is not in a good place. They're, they have the rescue card and the deep freeze card. They could have been like feeling really like frozen, cold frozen about the situation. And they could be feeling like they need to be rescued, which is not uh, a good place if you talk about like stability, kind of emotional stability. The full card. I feel like your person also wants to know all about the situation here. I feel like they can't totally figure it out. I feel like that's what that is. They can't totally figure out. Yes, if you are really taking a leap of faith on this other person, that's what this is. Yeah. And we're going to go over to Vimeo, you guys. Yes, we are, where the Tell All Lives. And we're going to talk about, the. we're going to have the YouTube outcome there. How they feel about you, Aries. The challenges of the block for them to kind of give them a leg up. Yeah, we want to kind of help them out here. This is the Equal Opportunity Tarot Channel. Yes, it is. And uh, what their, the challenge is here. I'm sorry I said that. What they're hiding from you. What they want to say to you. All right. Wow. I feel like you stay tuned for that. <laughs> what they're fearing and what they really want, Aries, on Vimeo. All the extended readings are always super affordable um, to the point where you could... Watch all of them. Mm -hmm. And wishing you guys a ton of power and light. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. All right. Thank you so much, you guys. And please take care in the time of 
need and uncertainty and we all need to unite you guys and we need to kind of stop pointing fingers at each other and so and so did this and because this is what they want okay we can't unite if we are all like arguing all right thank you so much you guys